Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. On this video, I'll show you how you can dilute 50% hydrogen peroxide to 5% hydrogen peroxide. Why 50% hydrogen peroxide? Simply because this is the concentration that we get from the supplier. Why 5% hydrogen peroxide? Simply because 5% hydrogen peroxide is a very good bleach agent. Okay, so on this video, I'll actually show you in full details how you can be able to dilute 50% hydrogen peroxide to 5% hydrogen peroxide. Okay, I'll actually take you through the dilution formula of which I'm going to explain in full details. Then from there, I'm going to show you, okay, also in full details, how you can actually make 10 liters of 5% hydrogen peroxide from 50% hydrogen peroxide. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, make sure that you subscribe. Smash that like button for me. Also, consider dropping us a comment below, okay? So as I actually said earlier on, I'll take you through how to dilute 50% hydrogen peroxide to 5% hydrogen peroxide, okay? I'll take you through the dilution formula of which I'm going to give out, explain and describe to you. Then on this very same video, I'll show you how you can actually make 10 liters of 5% hydrogen peroxide from 50% hydrogen peroxide. Here we go with the dilution formula. The dilution formula says that VI times CI is equal to VF times CF. Okay, the aim here is to make VI the subject of the formula. VI will be equal to VF times CF over CI. Giving out the legend here, it's very important. What is VI? VI stands for the initial volume of 50% hydrogen peroxide to be used. In other words, is the concentrated volume of hydrogen peroxide that we are actually going to dilute. CI stands for the initial concentration. In this particular case, our initial concentration is 50%. VF stands for the volume that we need to manufacture. Okay, On this particular video, as I said earlier on, I will show you how you can make 10 liters of 5% hydrogen peroxide from 50% hydrogen peroxide. So in this case, our VF will be 10 liters, okay? I'll show you further on, on calculation. Then CF, CF is the final concentration, the concentration of which we wish to obtain. In this case, it will be 5%. So let us go with our making process. Here we go. Let's consider making 10 liters of 5% hydrogen peroxide from 50% hydrogen peroxide. Remember that we start from VI, which is equal to VF times CF over CI. Let's replace our VF, it's 10 liters, so it's 10 times CF, it's 5, so it's 10 times 5 over 50, 50 which is our CI. Punch your calculator, how much are you getting? On our side, we're getting one liter. So the VI to be used here is one liter, okay? Remember that we're talking of a dilution process. Please, diluting means mixing a concentrated substance to water, okay? So that we can actually lower the concentration. So we need to find a specific amount of water that has to be used here. Let's say volume of water. Volume of water will simply be equal to VF minus VI, which is final volume minus initial volume. So we do 10 liters minus 1 liter. 10 minus 1, the answer is 9. Okay? So the amount of water to be used here is 9 liters. Please, there is a very important conclusion. Okay? So here, for us to obtain 10 liters of 5% hydrogen peroxide, how do we go about this? We need 1 liter 
of 50% hydrogen peroxide to be mixed to 9 liters of water, then this will produce 10 liters of 5% hydrogen peroxide. That's it. This is how you actually dilute 50% hydrogen peroxide to 5% hydrogen peroxide, okay? It was explained in detail in a very simple and clear way, okay? So that all of us can actually get a better understanding of this. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Remember that there is a lot to learn from here. So make sure that you like our videos, share them, also suggest the channel to people you know with the interest of learning. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you subscribe and see you on the next video.